Hello and welcome. I'm Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the Movie Picks Guide to DVD Architect Studio 5, as well as the Movie Picks Guide to Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum 10. That's a mouthful. And this is an eight-part series we're calling Basic Training with Vegas Movie Studio HD. What I want to do is I want to show you the basics of the program, how to do basic things with it, how to create a project, how to add media to it, how to edit some of that media, and then how to output it and then introduce you to the program so that if you'd like to you can explore it more deeply with our books with our more advanced tutorials and really get to know the program but this is just to get your feet wet with it and here we are in part one and we will explore each of these little elements in here each of these little workspaces and screens as we work but right now I just want to talk about starting up a project now a lot of people say well why do an entire session on starting a project don't you just go up here to the upper left corner and click the button that says new and get a new project yeah, you can do that, but how you set up your project can determine the success of the project. So it's real important to make sure that you set up your project correctly. And rather than click this little icon in the upper left corner, because that'll just give you a blank project, I want to encourage you to do one of two things. Either to use that Start button on the Welcome screen, or to go to Project and select a New. And the reason why is because when you do, you get a new project dialog window. Now the new project dialog window allows you to set up certain characteristics for your project. One of the things we always stress at Movie Picks, whatever program you're working with, is to think about the project you're working on. Don't just start with a blank slate. Think about what it is you're trying to achieve and what you're working with. And so it's very important when you start up your new project that you think in terms of what kind of video or what kind of source footage you're working with. As you can see, you can set up your project based on how you plan to output your project. I would like to discourage you from doing that. Rather than choosing an output option, I would encourage you to choose one of these top three buttons here, which are based on your source footage. So if your source footage is standard definition video, say from a mini DV camcorder or another standard definition camcorder, select the DV option. And you can see that the only template for that is DV NTSC or DV PAL if you if you are in the European or, or Asian television format. HDV, HDV is video from a tape based high definition camcorder and you can see that that comes in both 1440 by 1080 and 1280 by 720. Now 1440 by 1080, these are non-square pixels. I don't want to confuse you right here by going too deep into it, but I do explain in my book that that is the same size as 1920 by 1080 square pixels. I'll show you that in a moment here. But when you're working with HDV, high definition video on tape, your option will be 1440 by 1080. AVCHD, which is high definition video that's been saved to a hard drive or a storage camcorder. AVCHD is a particular format, by the way, so it's not just any high definition video, but it's high definition video that has been saved to the AVC video format. Now you can see that comes in two flavors, 1920 by 1080, which gives you a nice 16 by 9 video frame, or 1440 by 1080, which gives you also a 16 by 9 video frame and it has to do with the shape of the pixels don't be confused by this some camcorders shoot in 1440 by 1080 some shoot in 1920 by 1080 this is exactly the same resolution video it's exactly the same size exactly the same resolution but check your camcorder specs because the closer your project matches your source footage the better your results are going to be that said, I'm going to select DV because I'm working with mini DV footage in this case. You don't have to name your project yet. I'm going to name it anyway. And I'm going to select the option to manage project files. As I explained in the book, if you do that, the program will automatically set up a special folder where it will keep all of your rendered files, all of your, all of your temporary files, put them all in a nice neat folder. I encourage you to do that. It's good housekeeping and you can do it with just a check mark here. And once we've selected those options, click OK. Now we're into our project and our project is set up here to work with our mini DV footage. So in our next session we're going to talk about how to get the footage into your project. And we'll look at that in part two of our eight part series basic training with Vegas Movie Studio HD Platinum 10. I'm Steve Grizzetti. We'll see you again real soon.